The ancient sea turtle, a species that has been swimming in our oceans for 200 million years, is threatened with extinction due to human activity. The construction and operation of coastal nuclear power plants, including on beaches where sea turtles like to nest, has added to the animal's demise. Here on Florida's east coast is the St. Lucie nuclear power plant. Sea turtles come to nest on the beaches here and forage in the artificially warmed waters around the plant. But they also die here. Drowned by a lethal cooling system that sucks in and discharges three billion gallons of water a day. A technology this plant and many others chose to install instead of far less destructive cooling towers. In one year alone, St. Lucie captured 933 sea turtles. And in the name of profit, thousands of marine animals and millions of fish are killed or captured every year at nuclear reactors around the country. Those who love these animals react with horror. For a sea turtle to drown would be the equivalent of being put in a room and having all the oxygen sucked out for a human. Seals and sea lions have drowned at nuclear reactors from Seabrook in New Hampshire to San Onofre near San Diego. At the Diablo Canyon nuclear plant on the California coast, more than four miles of a once pristine marine community has been damaged. Areas where kelp once flourished have been scoured to bare rock by the hot, turbulent discharge water. PG&E's predictions of the thermal plume effects were dramatically underestimated, but the utility held back evidence of the true extent of the impact along the coastline for 10 years. The result? A near complete loss of all habitat in Diablo Cove. Evidence has also shown that the operation of Connecticut's millstone reactors has contributed to the collapse of the winter flounder in Niantic Bay, a population that may never recover. Yet nuclear power companies get a license to kill these animals, endorsed by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, the same agency that is supposed to enforce the Endangered Species Act on behalf of the nuclear utilities. The nuclear industry even claims it provides sanctuary for wildlife, a boast made at the very same time it is harassing, stressing and killing these creatures. In reality, animals are in severe danger around reactor systems. Sea turtles and manatees that swim too close to St. Lucie are sucked through the intake pipe into a cooling canal, where barrier nets are supposed to trap the animals, not all of whom are rescued alive or unscathed. Local scuba diver Bill Lamb found out what the sea turtles and manatees endure when he himself was sucked through the pipe while spearfishing near the intake opening. Yeah, when you first go in, you bounce around. You, you're just bouncing all over the place. Uh, you're hitting all all the walls, when I, you know, just tumbling around, tumbling around. When Lamb emerged, plant officials threatened to sue him for trespass. They refused to believe his story and were surprised he even survived. For several reasons. Number one, the amount of water that's going through that pipe is horrendous. It's a lot of water. And there's a lot of barnacles. A lot of barnacles. And uh, like I say, if you saw the tank, the uh, west suit and everything, uh, it just looked like somebody took a knife and just uh, started slicing all over the place. Despite Lamb's first-hand experience, plant officials refused to admit the ride through the pipe hurt sea turtles. Even quipping, the animals enjoy it. The evidence suggests otherwise. I'm told that quite a few marine life do go through there. I know all of them don't make it. And uh, it'd be impossible for all of them to make it. Uh, like I said, I'm one of the fortunate ones that did make it, but uh, I, I feel sorry for the marine life. Uh, it, 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 it's got to be tough on them. I mean, I wouldn't want to do it again. Once is enough. To make things worse, sea turtles are being wiped out by a mystery virus called fibropapillomatosis. Scientists are baffled by the epidemic's origins, but agree that big industry is the likely cause. That means every death at a nuclear plant propels sea turtles further along the path to extinction. Each individual is so important. We always consider that every animal may be the animal that makes a difference whether your grandchildren will see sea turtles or not. Capitulating to the nuclear industry while ignoring the plight of sea turtles, other marine life and the health of the oceans is gambling not only with the future of endangered species, but with our own survival. That turtle that swims off into the future may be the future, each individual turtle. 
but nuclear power would rather keep killing than safeguard that future. Unless the industry is willing to make major operational changes, animals will continue to die. The price that seals, sea turtles and even humans are being forced to pay just to save the nuclear power industry money is simply too high and too drastic to accept. Can we save our seas, our marine life and some of the world's most ancient and beautiful creatures in time? Or should we trade them all in to save the nuclear power industry instead? Is our future worth risking to line the pockets of a few CEOs? We can do something to stop this needless destruction of marine life if we all act now while there is still time.